It's all love. I got my broski back. I got my big homie back. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all don't know how long I've been waiting for this, man. You know what I mean? I got stories forever. I know y'all will hear so much, but I got stories forever. But particularly one story I will tell you then. So, besides the street room, when I end up getting incarcerated, I end up catching the fair beef too. And it's just ironic how, while I was in Lewisburg, I was speaking of you. I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean, my man? I, I, he's like, man, you don't know no Tut, man. Get out of here. I, I. One dude, remember bad news? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Tut ended up coming on the compound, they said, yo, Tut in the yard. Bad news ran to the yard before me <laughs> to be like, yo, you know, homie? Yeah, JFK said, what up? So Tut don't know JFK. Tut no La Boogie. Right. You know what I mean? He knew JFK, but he forgot I changed it to that That's attribute. Right. So he was like, JFK, nah, I don't know. He was like, I knew it. So he runs back to the house. Yeah, that nigga don't know you. I'm like, I'm already getting ready to go to the yard. I get out to the yard, Tut see me, La Boogie! <laughs> the nigga looked at me like, Oh, that's who I was talking about. Beat it, nigga. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, you feel me? But another thing that I always remember, bro. So when I was in the fest, he'd tell you, a little of this browser shit was still in me. So I'm running around. I'm gambling. I, I owe the crits 100 books of stamps. I, I don't care. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm, I'm from him. So I don't care. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm doing my thing. But I didn't. I owed them, but I had the means of paying them. So make a long story short, my bills got too high. So now I'm like, nah, I gotta get some money in here. So I had my girl, she started, my, my, not my girl now, but the girl did. She started coming through to see me. You know, I'm doing my little illegal things. Mm -hmm. Get my butt. So there's a guy in there that Tut know very well who found out about me. <laughs> and he kind of had like a little grip on the jail. And a lot of people were scared of him and shit. His indictment got like 50 bodies. Mm. So, so the, he hears about me making my little weed, my little bud, my little bud money. He's like, oh, all right, call him. I want to I sit down with him. So I come to the library, I think he called me too. He like, yo, he like, yeah, um, see you doing your little thing with the weed and shit. I'm like, damn, how the fuck he know? So I'm like, oh well, yeah, yeah. He said, look, this is what we're gonna do. So my girl wanna holler at your girl, you feel what I'm saying? We're gonna get you that boy up in here, you're gonna really get this money. I'm like, whoa, what? Get boy. I'm like, nah, nigga, I'm good, I don't do none of that. I like to smoke a little weed, I don't want none of that. He's like, what you mean you don't want none of that? Don't you owe the Crips a hundred dollars, a hundred bucks? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, bro, I'm good. So, so the dude tells me, I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. Me being a Brazil nigga, I'm mad. I want to react. But I'm not stupid. I know he got the pound. I'm looking at the dudes with him. I'm like, all right, you know what? Whatever. I beats it. I keep it pushing. Then I goes later on that day to sit down and eat at the New York table. And when I sit down, Tut and him coming. Uh -huh. So they sit down. Tut, like, Tut don't even get to say nothing to me. Cuff, it's Cuff I'm talking about. You know, he, Cuff goes, Cuff goes, yo. You gotta get up. I'm like, what? I ain't getting up, nigga. I'm from New York. He's like, all right, but you, you ain't sitting here. Uh, you like, hey, so tell me, oh, 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 what happened? That's my little bro. He was like, nah, man, you got a mouth problem. I'm like, a mouth problem? Tell him what it really is. You know what I mean? Tell like, nah, nah, that's my bro, bro. He's good. And I, I finished eating my food, boom, I tap, and I left, right? I spin in the yard with Tut, and I tell him the situation. He said, hey, you smart, nigga. Continue doing what you do and don't, don't dive into that. You feel what I'm saying? Best advice he gave me, but let me tell you what I'm getting at with this, right? Because of his influence and because of a couple of other people, right? The dude has the influence where he can make anybody look like they're a piece of shit mm -hmm. and get you sent out. You feel what I'm saying? He couldn't do that with him. Mm -hmm. Once he told him, that's, that's me right there, it was it. And I would come around and reluctantly he would be like, Without, to the point where it became, yo, yo, JF! And I'm like, that's Tuttle who did that. Ain't no way this dude don't like me. You know what I mean? You from Harlem, you don't like me. You know what I mean? But yeah, but he, he changed. Listen, so he had a lot of respect in the prison system. A lot system. of respect in the prison. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You got to remember that. respect the people. Yes, you got to remember though, the feds, everybody think they somebody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the somebodies know who the somebodies is. Mm. You know what I mean? And he was one of the somebodies that could change whole yards. You know what I mean? It's certain people that come to the they come in the feds and they get on the yard and the yard change. Mm. The whole jail change, the dynamics and all that. Like he was one of those. Okay. You know what I mean? I came on the yard, the yard change too, but it was for different reasons. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, ain't nobody can mess with him in rapping. Oh, oh the blood is here. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, Tuck came in. So he never abused in. his power? Nah, not that I know of, never. Mm -hmm. Never abused his power, especially, especially after, you know what I mean, 
I say after his rehabilitation. Because you gotta remember this. A lot of people don't don't they forget this. Tug was really one of them boys on the street. Mm -hmm. He was one of those. All right, I, I always say this. The story on Friday with Debo, they stole that. That was Tud. Mm. I promise you, I know dudes right now, and I could call them when I used to be on Rockaway, and he came through his Pathfinder. Yeah, that Pathfinder, I remember. And he put, they see the path, and go, like, oh, shit, that's Tud. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas going upstairs. I call people that can vouch. They going upstairs. They tuck in their jury, going upstairs. So after the rehabilitation, you got to think. He didn't abuse his power, I say, because I seen him in jail around dudes that I know he could have been like, I'm gonna need this. And they, what are they gonna do? Yo, yo, I know he could have abused it. I know he could have abused it, and he didn't. I'm gonna be honest, by the time Tuck came to Lewisburg and, and I got with him, mm -hmm. his mind was already shifted. He was on trying to uplift, you know what I mean? Mm. And, and drop jewels. And, and I noticed it changed because you know why? I couldn't get this man to answer a question quick for shit. That was me. Me and Vegas used to laugh about this shit all the time. We used to, we used to, yo, you know, me and Vegas. What do you mean by that? We, you could never, you would never answer a question quick. He would always think, and you mm. could tell him thinking. I swear, I'd be like, yo, Tuck, we used to play with, we used to play with him, not play with him, but play with him. Like, yo, yeah. yo, son, what you think? What you think about Puffy and this nigga? This nigga such and such. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. He already know his answer, but I know <laughs> him. He said it to himself three times before he said it to you. Because mm. if one of that shit didn't sound right in his head, you wasn't going to hear it. Mm. You know what I mean? Very calculated. Mm -hmm. Very calculated. But I remember him from the streets. The calculation was different. Mm -hmm. He answered you real quick. You know, you'll tell him what, what happened. Fuck him. It, it was more quicker because it, it was a different environment and his mind was a different place. Mm. But I repeat the growth, I repeat the change, I repeat everything because luckily I was one of them that got to see both sides. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How many I years ago was this? Man, this was nine. This was like nine, five, six. So he was only in there about what? Four or five years at that point? No, no, this is on the street at first. I'm oh, on the, the street. street. No, he got knocked in nine, seven if I'm not nine, six. mistaken. Nine, okay, six, got yeah. you, you know got I mean? you. Because I remember... I, I used to, I swear, I used to remember the day. You know why I used to remember the day you got knocked? I used to remember the day because because you called the store the next That's day. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Now, mind y'all know if you remember this. About the book. Yeah, I had the book. You had the book. Right? Low key, I could have, it sounds crazy, but I could have been fuck Puffy around. <laughs> I could have fucked Puffy around years ago. What's you know the what book? Mean? I had a book. All right, so put it like this. <laughs> they just wanted to fucking put them together. Mm -hmm. They wanted the proof that him and Diddy had, you know what I mean, a relationship that was stronger than just I know him, I know him. Okay. And the book had a note in it from Diddy that automatically, once you read it, oh, that's his man's. Mm -hmm. You know that was his man's. Mm -hmm. I had the book. My dude was trying to get the book. Paul was trying to get the book. I wasn't getting enough shit. You know what I mean? Until mm -hmm. so he gave me the word to give it to your nephew. You know what I mean? Boom. So I'm like, I right, bet. Say no more. Besides that, but... When you say they want it, you're talking about the government. The government. They wanted yes, they back. wanted it. Okay. So let me tell you another story about this book. I call a dude right now. You think I'm lying? They Yo, they rushed the that. store. They rushed the store and all that over this. But mm -hmm. let me tell you another story. So... When Tuck left, I told you he was supposed to get me to deal with Puff. Mm -hmm. Like the next day, he got knocked. We was going the next day to go to Bad Boy. So what happened was, when he got knocked and all that, Wadu came up with a bright idea. Oh, bro, damn, we can't get this Bad Boy deal, man. Something just got locked up, bro. You went about a Bad Boy deal? He like, yo, bro, but you got the book. Mm -hmm. You probably help, son. Get you a deal. So I'm young and naive, too. I'm like, damn, that do sound like, like what we going to do? Mm -hmm. go to Puff. Tell that nigga, listen, no you need this. We gonna make sure everything all right. You make sure you follow up on that deal you supposed to do I why. So I never forget. I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm with it. I goes with what I do. We go to bad boy records. Boom, we sit down. Why well, do tell them what's going on? The lady name was Leote Black North. She worked for Rough Riders after Bad Boy. Boom, sat down. We sitting in the office. She's like, all right, Puff coming right now. I'm like, all right, wait, Puff, I'm about to see Diddy. All right, what's up? So Puff didn't come. She pressed the phone, he on the speaker. Hey, how you doing, how you doing, what's going on? So where do I do at? Well, I do like, yeah, I'm right here. I, he was like, so look, brother, so what is you talking about? You um, you got the book, I, I think I'm familiar with the book you talking about. I, I. So he tried to finesse us and speed talk us, and he like, hey, 
All right, so look, yeah, I, I still honor that dude. That's a good dude. You know what I mean? I still honor that deal, but how about you leave the book on good, on good memory? I looked at my dude like he had six heads. You better not leave that fucking book, nigga. We don't know where it's going from there. He was like, Nah, I can't do that. Nah, I mean, he was like, well, brother, if you can't do that, then you know you don't trust me. How I'm gonna trust you? And that, that, all this finesse and stuff. And finally, we like, nah, we out of here. We broke out before eight o'clock that night. They came to kidnap him. <laughs> they kidnapped who? They kidnapped my dude. Three SUVs came, broke <laughs> up and kidnapped him. Snatched him, threw him in the SUVs, and he was gone. I was just on the corner, like, <laughs> he was gone. He and he had back. the book. Yeah, I got the book. Oh, you had yeah. the book. Okay. He came back the next day. Like, oh, bro, we might. Get out of here. <laughs> not giving up. What happened? They raped you. <laughs> <laughs> so recently, you know, I asked him. I said, yo, bro, yo, you see all this shit going on with Diddy? Baby on you and all that? Yeah. I'm like, you only ask me something. I'm not trying to be funny. Like, what they did to you when they took you that time? <laughs> uh, he said, nigga, do that to me, man. They just frisked me, checked me out, told him, yo, you know, Doing puff wrong and yeah, this shit could have went left and you know what I mean. You better do right and all. I'm like, oh, what? I'm like, that's crazy. So you sure there's no baby on you in there? Yeah, that's it. But yeah, but yeah, but I got stories for days. But that's just that's just one of them. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I got stories for days. But yeah, man. And then when you was in there, I'm not gonna lie. Your nephew was stomping for you. Yes, he was. Your nephew was stomping for you. A lot of people used to think. That he was you. <laughs> you know, he got the glasses yeah. too. He come through. And he, and he always, and son can't see. He blind. So, 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 the way he looked, he trying to see you. But it looked like your shit. Right. It looked like Tom used to be on like. But son's just blind. He be like, you see him? Like, oh, what up, bro? Like, oh, all right. But he was stomping. He would come to the, 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 the record store every day. Yo, yo, my uncle said, woo, woo, woo. All right, cool. He had delivered the messages. He was a trooper. You know what I mean? He definitely was a trooper. And 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 what's the name was a trooper too? Um, 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 Ken. Ken was a trooper. Ken How was this written about today? Ken didn't even know our relationship at first. Okay. And that was my bro. Right. I had got into a situation I'll never forget because I moved in that building oh, right. where Ken was in. Okay. With her mom. Okay. Right? I moved in that building and I got into a situation that I'll never forget. I ran back in the building. I was bleeding on my head. Ran back in the building. Ken, like, what happened? I was like, this dude, Zoo. He was like, Zoo. Oh, I was crazy. Get him. <laughs> get him. <laughs> oh, go look at him. You know what I mean? And that been my man ever since. You That's know what I mean? Not- but Ken official, then, then he called his situation. He came home. But let me tell you something about Ken. Bro, he told me something and it motivated me to do this, right? Ken was like, hey, you know the type of money I was getting. You know the type of birds I was playing with. That's right. I don't know how I could come home and not deal with that type of money no more. True. He said, so I had to find a way to still make that type of money that I was making, bro. And I can't sell drugs no more. And he got into the real estate and he's so serious, bro. This man, I'm down there reshaped jersey. Yeah. Mm. He's down there reshaped jersey, bro. And he been down, what, 16 he did? Yeah. Down there reshaped jersey. So it shows me that all of us, and I mean, I gave the feds 10. You gave him 27. Ken 28. 28. Why do y'all I keep forgetting that one year? You're right. Because <laughs> everybody keep thinking it's 9 7 when it was 9 6. Gotcha. Sometimes I be thinking it's 9 7. Because, because for real, for a reason why I think, because the short time that he was with me seemed like a lifetime. You mm. know what I mean? So I'll be like, oh, it was 9 7. It was at least a year. You know what I mean? Because I had came home in the beginning of 9 6. Mm. So I'm thinking oh, it was at least a year. But it wasn't. If not, you know what I mean? But it, what, it, what it taught me was, man, we could still come home mm-hmm. and make it happen. That's right. That's People right. Like, make it happen. I, I started this robber stuff. I'm in 350 stores now. I know, you know that's I mean? right. And what's your brand called? Buffhead? Buffhead Grabber. Buffhead Grabber. You know, I'm in 350 stores and I got like 20 wholesalers. And I just got into Atlanta and, 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 and um, what's his name? Offset store. Okay. Yeah. So now. Congratulations, I'm, baby. You know, I'm going to different states now. Now I'm trying to. Um, branch open to the fashion and the clothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and everything legit and right. So I know, of course, you know what I mean, that, you know, 
we fellas. They look down on us. That's right. They try to block a lot of things. That's right. You know, but what we do got is good people. That's right. You know what I mean? Children and good people and family and all that. So, you know, my daughter hold me down. That's right. You know what I mean? Everything in her name. Everything is hers. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Everything. And we got everything legit. Tobacco right. license, retailing license, all the licenses we took care of. That. That's you know, right. So everything was official, everything on the up and up. You know what I mean? And and now it's pushing. Every day is going up and up. I had people walk through these doors that I never thought of walking through these doors. I had Kodak Black just was in here the mm -hmm. other day specifically to come see me. Nothing else. He just came in because he wanted to show some love. Mm. You know what I mean? From Kodak Black, Soul to Geek, Frederick, uh, what's his name? Famous Dirt, all type of artists pop up That's because right. they want to show love. That's right. Now, mind you, it's kind of crazy to me because you no, know, I was in this music thing for a while. I was on Motown, Jimmy Hensman, Chaz Williams, you know what I mean? Even World trying to get me one time. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was signing all the gangsters. You know what I mean? Do you have music out on yes, iTunes? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. shout that out. Absolutely. I still got music. I got an album on iTunes too called Avio. Avio? Yeah, you got to type in it's J F K Fetty, F E T T I. Okay. Avio, you'll see my album. You know, but yeah, so the music, I kind of stepped it back a little bit because okay. the scene changed. You know what I mean? Now, you know, with the drill stuff and the young artists, ain't really talking our type of music. You right. know what I mean? I, I, I did see some artists that came out that I like, like the, uh, they got a dude named Avio. Yeah, I like Albi Al. Jersey, yes, Spanish, yes. Love him. Fishy. I like Albi Al. Met him. He's a real right dude. Like, you, you told Al. me about Albi Al. Albi yeah. Al official. As a matter of fact, I'm definitely gonna see the lions, the hyenas. Yes. Okay. Fishu. I was in the studio with him not too long ago, and, and Kodak Black too. Matter of fact, it was me, Albi Al, Kodak Black. Oh, and Lauren Hill son. Mm. YG Marley. Okay. Oh he's wow. A, he's a big deal right now. Oh, he got one of the biggest songs out right now. Called, um, what's it called? Job Bless or something like that? Job Bless. Big, big, big joint. I'm gonna let you hear Y'all did something together? Um, no, we didn't. Well, I didn't do nothing with them that day because this okay. is the thing. They don't even know I'm an artist. Oh. They wanted me here for this. <laughs> Got you. Know you. I mean? They love Bus Head Grabber. So Got you. Every time uh, YG Molly come in town, he called me. Yo, come to the studio, bro, please. He need the Bus Head. You know okay. What I mean? Kodak don't even smoke Grabber. He just loved the vibe. So he didn't be a bus head, you know what I mean? He loved the vibe. You know, so the artists, they on they 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 stuck on this right now. You know what I mean? The stores, the A Rabs, they're a little mad because you know, I show them how it should be done. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? That's I show right. Them how it should be done. And it got done by us. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? We mm -hmm. gotta, and, that, and that's my main thing. We gotta stop. This is where it stops, when they stop eating over us. That's right. You know I mean? black business. Yes. That's right. We gotta eat over each other now. That's, That's right. right. That's what it's about. And they've been doing it forever. But now that I'm on the business side of things and I see different shit now, oh man, I see all type of lanes for us. All type of lanes that we supposed to have been in. But we didn't have the knowledge. That's you right. know what I mean? And that's what it is. The knowledge, that's what you're going to pay for. Mm -hmm. I promise. You're going to pay for nothing but knowledge. I don't care if you need your lights changed in your house. You're paying because you don't know how to do it. That's right. mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what you always going to pay for is knowledge. So that's why I always tell my daughter, you know what I mean? Pay attention to that shit. Learn as much as you can because that's what you're going to get paid off of. What you know and everybody don't know. That's right. You know what I mean? I'm getting paid off this brother because I know. Mm -hmm. They don't. I know how to make it. I know how to put it together. And I know what they want. Show the face of the you box. I mean? Who designed? Who did all your graffiti? Me. Wow. So on, the, on the wall, I designed, I made the characters. Uh huh. But, uh, a lady from London actually drew it for me on the roll. Okay. Yeah, I made all the characters. The lady from London. Wow. She did all the artwork. It's yeah. ill. Yeah, and she she's just selling better. And she look, look at the ceiling. She's oh yeah, the ceiling is fire. Than everybody that's in here right now. And she did this by hand. Wow. I swear, by hand. And it only took her two days. And she flew in from London? Yes, it only took her two days. But she's staying out in New York now. Okay. But yeah, that's what she You don't know her name? Did she give her a shout? Oh yeah, her name is on uh, she calls herself Girly. Girly. But um I'll try to find her Instagram so I can get an Instagram so anybody wants some artwork, they can holler at Girly because she definitely get busy. Definitely. Yeah, she gets busy. She's on time. I like she don't that. She don't play no game. She put that work in, too. Let me see. I got you. Well, congratulations to you. I appreciate I'm it. I'm very impressed. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been, I don't lie. It's been, a, it's been a road. It's been a road. I didn't think, I didn't think it was going to blow as fast as it did. I'm going to be honest. How long have you been in business? I've been in business now around, 
what, almost 18 months, June. Wow, I thought yeah. you was going to say like four or five years. Oh, nah, June. This May. is a new business? Yeah, wow. June made my one year anniversary. My one year anniversary was June, and I had a I had a party on a boat. I had Ray Ray Comedian come out. I had Tosa Geek come out. I even had Shannon Briggs come out. Okay. You know I, mean? I had a lot of people come out. He gonna holler at you too. So whenever you want me to link that, let me know. Uh, the heavyweight chair, he gonna holler at you. Um, I, man, I had so many people DJ come out. Self. DJ Self, yeah, DJ Self. That so okay. many people come out to the boat ride. And now what's happening is we get more and more famous. We do a couple of events before. It wasn't so much. Then the boat ride it went crazy, and then the event after that went crazy, crazy. So it's now like anything we throw is is, is, is jumping now. You know what I mean? So yeah. It's General, like let me ask you something. Yeah. General, that's another name y'all might not know, but everybody that know know who I'm that's addressing right. right now. What do you have to say to this young black man? Because I'm very impressed, and I know you are too. I'm extremely proud of him, but I always knew he had that potential, and I always knew he was going to be somebody. For me. <laughs> yeah, I knew. As a fact, for me, he told me, you know, because he's definitely one of the ones that, 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 he not one of the ones that tried to keep me out of the street. He's one of the ones that threatened me out the street. Mm. Nigga, you won't get out of the street, nigga. You might have a problem with me. Okay. You know what I mean? And it, it worked until he got locked up. <laughs> well, it's, you, you know listen, if you, you obviously came full circle. Yes. And that's what he's about. Right. You know what I mean? And well, I'm so proud of him. I tell him that every day right. because he could have came home like every other nigga that come home on some wild gangster, yeah. old head stories. Yeah. He came home like a real gentleman. Right. He's the epitome of a gangster and a gentleman. Right. And he has evolved. And I am very impressed with his stories. When he like, I, That's why I was like, when we go see a friend, does he have any stories? And he was like, oh, yeah, he got a lot of stories because that's what I want to do. I want to showcase the guys that he mentored, the guys that he inspired. Fired, and the things that you guys are doing now. Absolutely. So I salute you. And any last words, General? Yeah, um, I just want to say to a lot of the old timers and the younger brothers growing up, you never know the type of influence you want to have in somebody's life. But no, you're going to have an influence in their life. Right. So now that you know you're going to have an influence in somebody's life, make sure that you try your best to influence them in a positive way. Because, because I gave up a lot of, and I'm gonna tell you, it was hard giving up, you know, the street life, giving up that mentality, because you profit, you make money off of that. And it keeps you in power, but you being driven by your ego and you become a narcissist. So now I'm learning that it's all about the community today. And it's all about service when it comes to the community. And I'm happy that I have some positive stories and that, you know, I'm on the positive road right now. And I'm not going to lie. People don't like this. People don't want to see our people grow. They don't want to see us evolve. They really like seeing us stumble, fall, die. But, yo, we die hard. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and we refuse to lose. Exactly. And when we was out in the streets doing negativity... A lot of people, they clap for us. And then when they see us trying to do something positive with our lives, what they do, they frown on us. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's jealousy, it's envy, it's hatred. But you know what, I love y'all anyway. You know why? Some people wake up later. Mm -hmm. Thank God I woke up, because I could've came home from prison and used my influence in a negative way and been influencing younger guys to pick up guns, do robberies, do hits, do all types of madness. But I know my duty now. I know my duty. And I know that the only way I could be a real man is by doing my duty. So society don't owe me nothing. And I owe society everything. And I just ask that. Y'all make it that much easier for us guys that's trying to change our communities and change our lives. Because it's not easy changing after you live that life. But I'm gonna tell you something. When you do change, you see such a better individual. And now I feel my purpose. I know that I'm a man of purpose. Mm. And I know that, you know, God got something beautiful for me. All I got to do is stay the course. And I'm staying the course. That's right. All right.